games have for a long time been computer simulations. And we slowly but surely are migrating our video games as well towards digital twins. These simulations have not been only very important to, to some kind of professions, also for all of us. Actually, the most popular video games are actually not games. They're actually simulations. People love to simulate something in reality. So if you look at the best-selling Nintendo Switch video games ever, you see that on number one, there's a racing game, Mario Kart a racing game. And on two, there's a social simulation, Animal Crossing, of an island, you know, survive on an island. So you simulate something. I mean, the really like, you know, fantasy third person shooter games or whatever, or action role playing. I mean, they are way down here. The people love much more to actually simulate something that has to do with reality. Or here, the other one, very popular game. It's basically you simulate playing Lego <laughs> on Minecraft on a digital scale, on a much bigger scale you can do that then and create like Lego worlds that you could have never imagined. Or take the other one for younger audiences, Roblox, extremely popular video game, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. You saw here that it, it, that's when the COVID-19 pandemic started. You see, saw how it exploded. All the kids, 80% are under 16 years old, were staying at home playing Roblox. And Roblox is a platform where you have 40 million different games. And you can play it there in this, we call it Metaverse. And you know what's the most popular game? Yes, you're right. It's a simulation. Actually, it's called Adopt Me. And you like, okay, you simulate adopting a pet. So uh, people love that. Now, none of this is attached to reality as it is. So if we migrate towards a digital twin, we have to start to mirror what's going on in reality and create a digital twin of something that really exists in the reality, in the analog reality around us.